are my five, of course, outside of provider and protector, because I still agree with those. But here are my five additional, a man of caliber and a high value man would have, I would be attracted to, and every woman that I have met so far. So number one, preface, not every woman, but every woman of caliber and high value woman as well. She's actually looking for a lot of the same attributes that she has in herself, but in a man, but it looks a little different. I'll show you how it looks within a man, right? Our viewpoint, because I know you guys have your own, but this video is gonna come from our viewpoint today. And then I'm gonna post what I believe a high value woman is next. And I'm gonna post her attributes and what they look like. And let's see if men are choosing the women with those high attributes. So the women are choosing the men with those high attributes. So let's go. All right, chill, chill, all right. Anyway, you have to be a strong leader because you have to lead the family. That's, that's what we want. We want a strong leader. We want a lead that we could follow. A lot of men may be lacking that. So then we don't want to follow if there's no lead to follow. And great leaders, they have high confidence, high self-esteem, high character. So remember that as well. Dos. Okay, number two. You have to be a man that is pursuing me. You can have all the money in the world and you can have all the swag and all that, but if you're not pursuing me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, you have to be consistently pursuing me. Consistency is key. Persistent, consistent, all of it. You, you need to be pursuing me with that energy, okay? I don't want you to be half in, half out. Like, that's not gonna work. Don't be lukewarm about it. Like come full force and i'm not saying chase is a big difference because i'm not running from you that's a whole nother video this is pursuing so not pursuing me in a very surface level of just any woman because we're all different but pursuing me based off of who i am and learning me we made it to three listen you have to have a plan you have to have a plan you have to have a one-year plan a two-year plan, five-year plan, a 10-year plan. You have to have goals and aspirations and you have to not be confused with what you want out of life, out of a relationship, out of a friendship, out of a business, out of a partnership. You have to be clear on your goals, clear, written out, on the way. I'm on it daily, daily tasks. I need to see you be consistent in your own life and the management of your own life and your own goals before you can leave me and my family. Don't be confused, okay? Know who you are, knowledge yourself, but know what you're going after and do it consistently. Nobody wants a lazy man. Nobody wants a man who's not a go-getter. So you made it to four. All right, the fourth point to believe in partnership with a woman you have to believe in real partnership with a woman you have to believe in family business we got to be able to trust each other and we got to be able to work together so you have to have a level of integrity that i could trust and that i could build with so we could have a team and so we could grow together and have a strong foundation so you have to believe in family business because what is a man without family? What is a man without family? What is a man without family? Again, these are based off of my personal opinions. You're welcome to have yours in the comments, but these are mine, dear. So I'll respect you. Please come respectfully and let's talk about it. Yes, you could be a high value man and not desire a family as long as you're honest about that. That's cool. But in my book, a high value man knows that legacy and family and family business is extremely important. It acts all of the families who run the world, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they're all family businesses, family legacy. And I'm not saying that they did it in a respectful way, in a respectable way. I'm not saying be a family like them. No, I'm not saying respect them. So don't get in my comments and focus on the point that I'm not even making, please. Cause y'all, some of y'all like to do that. Like y'all just, just do that for fun or something. No, but I'm saying 
high value men respect legacy and family and they choose the best partners to build that relationship with that's what i consider high value and that's i'm on that type of time so be on that type of time with me okay you made it to point five congratulations i'm so proud of you for watching this entire video number five you have to be a man of your word not just to others but to yourself once I see a man respecting himself because he keeps his word to himself, I know that I can trust him to keep his word to me if he desires and if he's consistently doing it and showing me and backing it up with actions. High value through the roof because I know a lot of men with money that cannot keep their word to themselves or others or their children for that matter. But that's a whole nother subject. So... In my book, you're high value when you can keep your word and, and everyone can respect you because you're a lover, a giver, and you don't take no mess from nobody because you know you done, dude. You know it. You know it. Swagged out. You know it. So if you guys want to add to my list in the comments, you're welcome. You're welcome to. I would love to know your opinion. And we already established protect and provide is at the top. These are just five extra points I added on. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope that you subscribe and that you comment and that you stay and grow here with me because this is a community of love. This is a pro family community. We're not bashing each other here. We're not having any heated arguments here. We could debate, but it's going to be respectable debating here. So, come show out. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.